All aboard for the transcribed premiere production, The Cruise of the Paul Parrot, that thrilling story of whaling days and adventure among savages on a strange island. Well, it looks like a showdown with our friends from the Paul Parrot and their last surviving enemy, Privateer Briney. Surprising Briney, who, with a few of the privateer crew, had attempted to take over the good ship Paul Parrot, Captain Dalton, Dickon, and the rest of our friends are in the midst of a furious set to. Dickon has chosen hand-to-hand combat with Briney, and in an attempt to catch Dickon, Briney has caught his hook hand in Dickon's peg leg. Johnny Robbins, who with Sue Grange has been witnessing the fracas, sees his opportunity to recover the diamonds which are on Briney's person. Leaving Sue and accompanied by his recently acquired pet jaguar, Johnny heads for the midst of the fray. This is where you come in. Come on! Johnny Red! Stay out of this or you'll be hurt! Don't worry, Captain Dalton. I'll watch myself. Avast! Avast, you lumpy barnacle! You can't get that bloomin' old can loose now, can you? Blow me down! I'm fast for sure. Uh, 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 I'll yank uh, your bloomin' peg leg off! I will! Oh. You will, will you? You'll yank your bloomin' old can off first, me hearty! And if you think you won't, here, here, take that! Oh, 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 oh the blind had kicked me, did it? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't usually fight like this, you bloomin' swab. But oh, if I can't reach you with my hand, I can with my foot. And you may lay to that there. Oh, 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 I'll say I've had enough, I have. Oh, you have, have you? I'll teach you to call me a peg leg porcupine, oh, I will. Oh, uh, I take you back. I take you uh, back, I does. Uh, Leave off, will you? Uh, oh, my Johnny, where are those diamonds? Oh, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Help me, I don't. Oh, oh yes, you does, you bloomin' swab. Shut out now, shut out those diamonds. Wait a minute, Dickon. Just hold him there, that's all. Briny, I'll give you one more chance to hand over those diamonds, or I'll set this animal on you. Oh, 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 blow me down. Keep, keep that monster away from me. I'll give you the diamonds. I'll give you the diamonds. All right, that's better. Lie down, Jaggy, old boy. Yeah, here they are, in me blouse. I, I didn't want the bloomin' swag anyway. Is that so? No, he didn't want the bloomin' swag anyway. He was just keeping him safe for us, that's all. Throw back to Captain Dalton. We give up, we die. It's about time, you bloomin' pirate. Ah, oh, we've had enough fighting, Captain Dalton. We'll do anything you say, but heave to. Cease firing, men. The pirates have shown the white flag for fair. Aye, aye, sir. Cease firing, you audience. Throw down your arms, you thieving privateers. Mr. Wainwright, see that these men are taken care of so they can do no more harm. Aye, aye, sir. And Mr. Grange. Yes, Captain Dalton. Go back and see if Miss Wilson's all right. See that the men in the crew who are injured are properly taken care of. I'm going down there and find out what's wrong with old Dickon. Yes, sir. Uh, from the fight he's been putting up, Dickon seems to be all right. Uh, hey, but he and that rascal Briney are still on the ground. I blow me down. I'm going to find out what it's all about. Uh, and look there, Captain Dalton. Huh? Johnny is standing over them. And there's the animal with him that had the fight with the black leopard. Aye, you're right, Mr. Grange. Avast, there comes little Sue, walking away from the jungle toward the beach. Ah, the young'uns are safe anyway. Uh, Thank goodness for that, Captain Dalton. (sighs) Looks like things are beginning to turn out all right. It does, Mr. Grange, and you may lay to that. Uh, I'll be back with Johnny and Sue as soon as I find out what's going on down there. Avast, Johnny! Is all well down there? All well, Captain Dalton. We've got the situation well under control. Dickon! Dickon! Dickon, are you all right? Aye, Captain. Oh, Dickon's all right as usual. If you can only get me untangled from this, uh, this blooming barnacle here. Sh- help me. I can't get me hand out of the sailor's peg leg. Oh. <laughs> so help me. It didn't hurt a bit, it didn't. Oh, uh, there's so that... Hold it a minute. I'll see if I can pry you loose here. 
Uh, let this be a lesson to you, Briny, a buzzard. Be careful where you're swinging this fish hook of yours in the future. Help me, uh. Captain Dalton. It's taught me a lesson it has. First chance I'm changing me hook hand for a feather duster. <laughs> Blow me down, it's a good idea. It'll match the rest of you, it will. Oh, that's enough, Dickon. The swab <laughs> suffered enough for his treachery. Uh, here now, one more yank, and I think I'll make it. Uh, uh, ah. You're a free man, Briny. Go over there and join the rest of your mutineers, and we'll take care of you later. Right. Oh, Johnny Lad. You're all right, too. I, Captain Dalton. Oh. And look here. Blow me down. The diamonds. Aye, the diamonds. And it was a smooth one the way he got them away from Briny. He threatened to lose the, the animal on him, he did. Oh, Hey, we heard about the animal, Johnny. Where in the world did you take up with him? He's followed us ever since Sue and I took a thorn out of his foot. Oh. Johnny means he took the thorn out, Captain Dalton. Well, you patted his head while I did it. You helped him as much as I did. Ah, uh, you're both brave ones for fair. But what are you going to do with him now? Well, I was thinking, Captain Dalton, maybe we could take him back with us when we set sail. You mean if we set sail, lass? Well, we're not sure whether we can get away from here yet. But even so, you, you can't take the jaguar with you. Oh, but Captain Dalton, Sue and I will be responsible for him. We'll see that he doesn't harm anyone. No, lad. No, even if you could do that, it, it still wouldn't be right. Look at it this way. Perhaps somewhere back in that jungle, this jaguar's mate is waiting for him. And you know, it wouldn't be the right thing to separate him. I never thought of that, Captain Dalton. No, neither did I. But Captain Dalton, he saved our lives when he killed the Black Leopard. Aye, lad, I know that. He saved your life in return for the favor you did him. Turnabout's fair play. And now you're both even up again. Johnny, if he minds you, tell him to go back to the jungle. For the longer you keep him, the harder the parting will be. <laughs> Oh, lad, blow me down. I know how you feel. But this way will be the best. Captain Dalton's right, Johnny. I guess you'd better send him back. You're right, Sue. Jaggy, old boy, thanks for all you've done, but you better go back to your home now. Oh. Goodbye, oh. Jaggy, old fella. So long, Jaggy. Now go on back. Oh. Captain, blow me down. Will you look how the animal obeys Johnny? Aye, Dickon. He's heading straight for the jungle. He's heading back to his home. And if something tells me if we can, that's what we should be doing. Dickon, take charge of the men and see that repairs are made to the pile parrot right away. Aye, aye, sir. Somehow, some way, I feel as if we'll soon have the gold chip pile parrot off this beach and full sail, pulling for New Bedford. Quiet, you blooming dodo. All hands are working at top speed, they are. They blush me to a yard arm. After we get the Paul Parrot in ship shape, what's to be done? Blow me down, we can't just just lift her off the beach, we can't. But, Dickon, we'll float the Paul Parrot somehow. Captain Dalton said we will, and I believe anything he says. You're right, Sue. If Captain Dalton says we'll soon be on our way home, then I think we will, too. Hey, you young'uns have a lot of faith in the captain, and so is old Dickon. Blow me down. But really, just for the life of this old sea rat, I don't see how we're going to do it. Well, well, Dick, and maybe the tide will come in far enough to float us back out. No, lass. No, well, Dick and thinks you're wrong there. The blooming hurricane what beached us did a mighty thorough job of it. So help me, when it threw us on the beach, it made sure we will be on the high tide line. And whatever gets us off of this beach... He's going to have to... going to have to pull us off, and you may lay to that. Ahoy! Well, mates, things are progressing in tip-top shape. We'll have no more trouble from the privateers. 
for they've all sworn allegiance to the Paul Parrot. They've thrown in their lot with us, and they're helping repair the ship. Uh, but, Captain, what about that sea hawk, Briny? <laughs> that sea hawk, Briny, as you call him, Dickon, swore to obey orders. And he threatened to rip out the gullet of any of his mates who didn't stand by the Paul Parrot. Aye, but, Captain, I don't trust him, I don't. Uh, you may trust him now, Dickon. The old sea dog has learned his lesson. But, Captain Dalton, hmm? even if we do repair the ship, Dickon says he doesn't see how we'll be able to float the Paul Parrot with nothing to pour off the beach. Well, Dickon! You old scoundrel, that's mutiny. <laughs> Where's your faith, Dickon? Aye, Captain. You, you know well enough my faith is in Captain Dalton, skipper of the good ship Paul Parrot. <laughs> Thank you, Dickon. But blow me down. If that's the truth, that faith should be enough to know that when the right time comes, how, when, or why, I don't know. But blow me down. There'll be a right time. And uh, when... Yes, uh, Captain. The right time is here. Look toward the horizon. Wh oh, Johnny's right. Look out there. Yes. Captain Dalton, do you see what I see? Aye. Lush me to a yard arm, sir. If it ain't a sail, I'm what Briny called me, a peg-leg porcupine. By the great horn spoon, Dick, and you're right. A sail it is. Rah! Rah! Sails in the wind! Sails in the wind! Sails in the wind! Rah! 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 A sail in sight. But whatever ship it is, will it make for the island or will it pass in the night? If it makes for the island, the troubles of our friends on the good ship Paul Parrot will be over, at least for the time being. Be sure to listen for the next transcribed episode in the cruise of the Paul Parrot to discover the future course of events. Until then, this is your Paul Parrot announcer, Dave Ward, saying goodbye. <laughs>